All right, I know New Year was like a month ago, but I just had this awesome idea and I just had to do it. And I don't think it's too late to do it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, behind the scenes and all sorts of fun stuff that happened during 2023 and things I wasn't able to make videos about and all that kind of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. So... Alright, so this is going to be my 2023 year in review. 2023 was a pretty good year for Hymenoptera Humes. I started my channel back in September of 2022, made a few videos, and then um, as it started to get cold out, I didn't make as much videos as I usually do because there's not a lot of stuff you could find out in the winter. As it started to get warm out, I started making a lot more videos, some really good ones too. Um, I improved in editing a lot and um, just how I perform on camera. I'm very glad with all those videos I made during that time. I'm going to be talking about the whole 2023 year in review because it's just going to be really, really fun to talk about and very fun to share with you guys. So let's do this. The first video I posted in 2023 was a New Year's special showing off my new microscope. Now, it definitely wasn't the best video I posted in 2023. It was, it was decent though. I showed pretty cool views of what really small insects look like under the microscope, and I got to show some pretty cool views of some of the bugs I caught in Jamaica. Next up is a YouTube short I posted, not about bugs, in fact it's about something that eats bugs, our pet frog Dumpy. It was supposed to be a fun little video showing how we feed him every other night, and it showed him eating mealworms and crickets and all that good stuff. By the way, he's like three inches now. Back then, he was like one and a half. He was pretty small back then. This next one was really fun to make, and it turned out pretty good. This video is explaining entomology to Mr. Oven. Mr. Oven is my friend. He makes meme videos, gaming videos, and all sorts of stuff like that. But this video was quite a hassle to make. Um, we planned it for like two weeks, and then after two weeks, we would occasionally try to do it, and each time something wouldn't work, something with the editing wouldn't work, something with our Google Meet wouldn't work. There were so many problems that would interfere until finally, at one point, we got it, we made it work. It took me quite some time to finally finish the video, but once I did, it turned out really good, and I'm really glad with how it worked out. Now, with this video, we have some funny behind the scenes. First of all, when we were making the video several times, we would take breaks in like the recording of the video. So we would have like a, a raw screen recording and then several times we'd like talk about something and then I'd say, okay, break. And then we would uh, sit there for like two minutes and then I'd explain to him, I'm like, okay, so this is what I'm going to be showing you, uh, this, these kind of things. Then I'd go three, two, one, and then we'd start doing it as if nothing happened. It was, it was pretty funny. And uh, there were several times in the recording where we would like stutter or mess up and then we'd be like, uh, cut that out. And then we just continue it and say it the way we were originally trying to say it. Next up is the same thing, but for Red's Mayhem. Um, he's another one of my friends who has a YouTube channel and we did a collab video for part two of explaining entomology to my friends. And it was pretty much the same thing. And once again, we had a lot of fun making it. This one, we did not take as much time planning and recording the video and all that stuff and there was not that much problems interfering and it turned out pretty good it was entertaining to watch and educational at the exact same time and i'm really glad i was able to have these people come onto my channel because they made some pretty entertaining videos also that video started a joke that would continuously show up throughout my channel whenever i would mention the cow killer the cow killer is a wingless wasp in the family mutilidae in the video red's mayhem Thought I said caterpillar, so then he went caterpillar, and that has been a joke that's been going on ever since then, and it's pretty funny. All right, next up is by far the best video I've ever made on this channel, um, the Arizona video. That video was released during March, and we went to Arizona, and um, first of all, um, originally we were planning on going to the Grand Canyon, but that year. For some reason, of course, right before we decided to go there, it started snowing in the Grand Canyon. I didn't even know that was possible. So then we decided, you know what, let's just go to Sedona, Arizona instead. And uh, then they had a flood warning there, so that didn't work out either. So finally we settled with going to Tucson, Arizona, and that was a good choice. So on like the second day, we went on a really big hike, 
and it was so fun. Really tiring, but really fun. Then I caught a huge carpenter bee, which was like one of the best catches I've ever had in my life. A bright red paper wasp, and my brother caught a frog when we took a break to have lunch. And I loved that. I loved going on that hike. It was very fun. Then on the last day, it was raining, which gave us a perfect opportunity to go to the college that Justin Schmidt used to work at. Justin Schmidt was an entomologist. He got stung a thousand times by a thousand different um, insects. Um, he sadly died in February of 2023. It was very, very sad for me because he was a very cool entomologist. But um, we went to the place where he used to work and they had a whole like bug section of it. It was very fascinating to be there. But um, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. This was probably the funnest, happiest video to make because um, this was in May when all the bugs and all the animals started coming back and it was getting warm out again. And I was so happy because we had a lot of opportunities, like me and my dad and my brother, we would go somewhere new every single day um, to like catch bugs and frogs and stuff like that. Because my brother, he wants to be a herpetologist when he grows up, which is the study of amphibians and reptiles. And we both had opportunities to catch the things we're interested in. And we did catch the things we were interested in in that video. And it was so fun to make and I really enjoyed it. There are also some pretty funny behind the scenes in that video too. While I was failing at catching the thing I wanted to catch. My brother was having a lot of success catching bullfrogs and he caught one of the bullfrogs himself and um, he was so happy and the funniest thing about it is the first bullfrog he caught um, had a damaged eye for some reason and just to be funny we named him One-Eyed Willie and uh, we released him back into the wild afterwards and my brother was really happy and it was really fun to watch him get the thing he was trying to catch for a while. Now this is something that I didn't make a video on and I'm quite upset about it, but um, we went camping in Coeur d'Alene in the summer and it was really fun and I got a, got a lot of cool bugs and I didn't record it and I don't know why. I got one of the top three uh, bumblebee goals for 2023, which was the white-shouldered bumblebee. I got a black-tailed bumblebee, a half-black bumblebee, and I got this other thing, which is called the black jacket, which is like a yellow jacket. But instead of being yellow and black, it's black and white. Then we took a break from some of the bug stuff at one point and uh, went to a theme park and went on roller coasters. And um, I really don't like roller coasters, by the way. <laughs> it was really, really scary. Um, I, I don't like roller coasters. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> um, that. But I do like um, water slides. And I went crazy on some of the water slides at the at the Boulder Beach they had there. That was really fun. But uh, yeah, it was a really fun trip and still really upset with myself for not recording any part of it. But oh well. Well, I think I'm going to have to wrap up this video there because uh, this is this video is getting pretty long. So I think I'm going to have to make a part two eventually. But those were some of the memorable moments of 2023 um, Hymenoptera Humes. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.